my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? I'm invited to sleep. Get your ass on, bro. You get your goddamn ass Now, there's no secret denying how everybody feels about the uh, redesign to Liberty Falls and the HUD elements that are going to be changing and just everything in this blog post. There's no hiding what people are feeling. And well, for what I can tell, Treyarch is cooking and I'm just munching. Mm. No, but in all seriousness, let's get into this blog post because there's a lot to get into. Starting with, since the debut of the early gameplay footage at Call of Duty Next, back in August, the Zombies team at Treyarch has continued to iterate on the look, feel, and sound of Liberty Falls to crank up the map's creepiness factor heading into the launch. Now, before we continue, let me ask you one thing. What do you think they mean by iterate instead of innovate or redesign? Well, here's my thoughts on that. I think that they kept asking themselves again and again and again, what can we do differently with Liberty Falls to appeal to the masses? Because what did they really do to Liberty Falls? Let's be real. Well, let's find out. <clears throat> Players can expect a moodier visual tone to the map, along with a gorier set dressing and new environmental audio to more intently reflect the chaos of the very recent dimensional breach. Well, to me that sounds exactly what it says. There's going to be more audio to the map that makes it seem more vibrant. Probably some people crying and screaming in the background, trying to get away. More panic, more chaos than just uh, what it was in Cognox. One of the things that you clearly see that they have changed in Liberty Falls is this dark ether storm. A dark ether storm that was used in the NW Zombies, and it's used to actually reflect the dark ether. It's sort of a portal, a storm, something to show that the dark ether is breaking in, breaching into our reality. Now that's cool and all, but we really was expecting something more. But I still am a valid believer in thinking that when the easter egg is halfway complete, the map will totally change. Flip 180 Dark Aethervide. Stand by it. Now the atmosphere of Liberty Falls, which takes place concurrently with the aftermath of the dimensional breaches over at Terminus Island, players must explore a once idyllic, now horrified small West Virginian town of Liberty Falls, whose residents have fled or barricade themselves within settlements in a last desperate attempt to survive. By the time you arrive under the watchful eye protected of Dr. Jansen's security chief, John Blanchard, which we've seen in the cutscene, the town is overrun and battle has seemed truly lost. Here's a closer look at Liberty Falls locations, which we get a lot of pictures of Liberty Falls, but not as much as Terminus Island. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what they changed and exactly what is new. Around the map you can see dark ether tears, portals, the skybox being dimmer, and just a moodier tone and feel for Liberty Falls. However, to me, it really doesn't seem all that different. <laughs> Which, L. L on Treyarch's part. But now it's time to get into the HUD. This is the one thing I really, really wanted to get into because wow, this just crazy, man. We need we needed a HUD like this. Now well, let's get into this. HUD touch up. The UI team has also continued to update the game's modern HUD, touching up some of the zombie specific elements that can appear across most HUD presets, options, and adding new settings. These updated settings include a character's portrait added to the lower left corner by default, general alignment and color adjustments made across the entire HUD, 
perk icons are now positioned closer to each other, more specifically like Black Ops 3 Zombies. Zombie specific widgets added for certain in-game actions. Something I believe they should have added in from the beginning, but an in-game reward animation has been added for gobble gums, which should have been there day one, or maybe they were just late on working on it. A visibility slider adding added, which allows players to fine tune or completely disable certain HUD elements. This is one of the biggest ones here. If we can truly turn off anything and everything we want on this, we can truly make our own display. HUD. What? And well, yeah, it includes HUD elements, including score feed, medals, notification, mini map, weapon, and equipment information, and more, which seems like the true HUD experience is coming. Whether it be for zombies, campaign, multiplayer, or warzone, you truly can choose what you want to see and what you don't want to see. What can be in front of you and what can be on the side of you. This is a big, big massive change for Call of Duty moving forward because not only will zombies be having this or Black Ops 6, every Call of Duty after this will truly need to have a custom HUD experience where you can do it yourself. Now, there is so, so, so much more that we can go through in this Call of Duty blog post relating to augmentations, to perks, to shatter, blast, and everything. Like, it is crazy that field upgrades, perks, and augmentations, the loadouts, and everything. I mean, like, look, we have everything here. This blog post is huge and massive the fact that gobble gums also made a fun appearance here too is absolutely nuts and we got confirmed of two new whimsical gobble gums that are being added well kind of new but <laughs> am i excited for this yes i am i'm excited for black ops 6 there's so much more that we can be going into the blog post but those are for different videos now this is just a a quick little update of what's been going on with Liberty Falls. Did you guys think this was good or no?